everyone welcome to crow's closet on this channel i do everything that i consider beautiful which includes fashion beauty and home today i have a review for you all that i'm super excited about because it has become like my absolute favorite go-to because i've been staying in the house more because covid numbers keep rising and rising and rising i've been looking for more like drugstore makeup to use so that i'm not using my expensive makeup to sit in the damn house so I've been like searching and searching and finally my sister-in-law gave me a recommendation for this product and I am so grateful that she did because I absolutely love it. So it is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Freshwear Foundation and Powder. Oh, I am in love with it. So let me tell you just like some specs um, from L'Oreal about this foundation first. It comes in 16 shades. 16 is okay, I guess it's better than five or six. And I just happened to grab my shade the first time by chance. This never happens to me. I'm always wrong when I choose my foundation color, but I got it right this time and I'm so happy that I did. But it comes in 16 shades and L'Oreal is selling it for $14.99, but I got it off of Amazon for $11.99, I think it was, like it was like $12. So like $11.99 on Amazon because I wanted it to come the next day. I was super excited to try it. And since I've gotten it, I've been using it like crazy. So right now, just wanna give you guys some reference. I only have on moisturizer, a pore filling primer, and then I have on the foundation with a tiny bit of concealer under my eyes, and then um, eyebrows are done and mascara. That's it, that's been my go-to look since I've started using this powder because again, I'm trying not to just be using up all my good stuff to just sit in the house. So let me tell you about this. Sis, oh my god, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be really dry, first of all, because it's a powder, and I don't normally have good luck with getting a powder to work for my very dry skin in the winter or in the cold months, um, so I never just use a powder. But for some reason, I don't know what they did with this. It's not drying at all. Usually, like, if I use, just use a powder when it's cold out and my skin is, like, dry and very textured I get very textured in the winter like all right here will be like cracking up and stuff um and but my husband my husband learned a new word caking so I just didn't get any of that with this which I'm super excited about I am using it in the shade deep amber and it is the second from the darkest so there's a darker shade after that um but yeah I really like that it's not drying on my skin at all which is beautiful Another thing that I really like is that because, again, my skin is textured, when I put foundations on sometimes it'll look perfectly fine at the beginning of the day and towards the end of the day it almost looks very patchy because the parts of my skin that are raised don't have any more product left on it and then like my parts of my skin that are sunken in, you know, because it's textured, the parts that are sunken in have um, product in it still so it looks very almost like very splotchy because there's no foundation on the parts of my skin that are raised. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I really did. I had, a, I had a hard time explaining that. I hope that makes sense. I don't know if 24 hours, but damn sure eight hours. So I can last my full shift and then some with it not moving, which is like, what the hell? It's a powder. I am like so surprised about that. It also doesn't transfer everywhere. Like I'm not like touching my papers while I'm working and having foundation all over my papers. And I do not spray and set my face. I just don't, I don't like that tight feeling. So I don't do that often, especially if I'm not going anywhere. But ugh, I just really, 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 really love this. I would say the only thing that I have a complaint about is the, it's really powdery. I know it's powder, but it's like really powdery. And I don't know if you can see this. Um. I kind of blew it off but like it like really like it's really powdery usually like I'll put it on and then I'll tap some off and then like you'll see like a pile of tap off product on top and I just kind of go back and use that product to finish my face off it comes with a mirror and then a little pond thingy um, that I don't use because I haven't gone out the house with this yet so I definitely will take it with me and maybe use that. I don't like those much. I don't like those sponges much. I really don't feel like they do anything for me. But yes, sis, go get you one of these, especially like for the price, no more than $15, it was $12. And I can use it and feel guilt-free because I ain't going no damn more. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, I work from home. So I don't wanna be using my good stuff 
like to just be sitting in the house. I literally put it on to wash it off. I hate that. So this is like a really good alternative to like your higher end um, foundations. And it does, it's not super drying, so you can use it in the winter. Um, it's not matte, but it's also not like dewy either, which is cool. For a person that has combination skin, I hate looking like oily and I like I just don't get that with this. I'm super excited about it. Um, hopefully it lasts a while because I've been using this junk every day. The L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation um, Powder. Just just get it because why not? It's, it's really pretty. If you can find your shade in this, go grab it. Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoy videos like this, if you want to get more uh, recommendations, if you have skin like mine, tone like mine, texture like mine, make sure you subscribe and turn on notification bell so you're aware of when I post. Also, let me know if you've tried this and what you think about it in the comment section. I'm feeling it, so I don't, I'm feeling it. <laughs> and as always, I love y'all and I will see you later. Bye. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. You are not a friend of me